Hey guys, and here we have another Konosuba Fantastic Days video. Welcome to part 2 of the Team Building Guide. In the first video, I covered the basic mechanics of this game, types of team and different roles, the viability of 3 star characters, and also 1 and 2 star characters as well. Watch that video if you haven't already because it's related to what we were going to talk about in today's video. I suddenly feel like some sort of a school lecturer today. So if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Appreciate it if you hit the sub button, you know, like button, uh, also maybe hit the bell as well. With that said, let's carry on. Anyway, today's video, I'm going to talk more about the sub characters, their traits, or what I will be calling passives as well. So if you hear I say traits or passive, if they are the same thing. And of course, finally, I'm going to give some examples on how to pair you know, certain characters. Okay, so later I'll be using this subbing priority list infographic made by Discord user Dizinio. I still don't know how to pronounce his or her name yet. And we'll briefly teach you how to use it. And also, I just realized that he or she actually has a YouTube channel. So be sure to show some support. I'll, I'll put the link below. And in case I forget, please comment to remind me as well. Okay, before I explain the infographics, I just want to explain like what are traits. Okay, let me go back to the game. Okay, I want to explain what traits or passives are first and what things actually carry over from the sub characters. Okay, by the way, if you don't already know, these are actually sub characters, those things that you put below. Okay, here, these guys are actually sub characters. They are basically the same as characters but in the sub slots. Okay, so I'm gonna use Melissa as example, you know, as always. Okay, traits and passives are things like this thing here. Okay, you can see here there's a trait here, and for Melissa's case, is uh, there's an EX in the top right corner. It actually means like when you max promote them, uh, when they are capped at level 60, you can see it's 60 over 60, but they don't have to be max level. They just have to be max promoted. You see this promotion, 5.5, and then this thing will unlock. It, I, I believe it gives you additional like 2% to whatever the passive is. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the two main types of uh, passive. Okay, the first one actually is uh, Iris here. She actually has this. Okay, physical attack boost. Okay, another character that has this is this one. Okay, so in global right now, there's only these two characters that have this. The magic version actually belongs to Winter Megumin. She actually has this. Okay, magic attack boost. And then the next one, as seen in Melissa, these are actually like dark attack boost or basically elemental boost. Okay, there are like seven elementals in this game. So this is one of them. And uh, there's another one, which is the healing passive. This one right here, uh, please. Word of advice, don't be an idiot like me and then uh, level the wrong trait. Uh, there's a stark difference between this one, recovery and action. You can see that I actually uh, almost fully promote her. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so as soon as I realized that, I swapped back to a two-star Amy, which give the correct one. Please, you know, please be careful, guys. Wasted so much resources. Stamina, go, Ares on this uh, useless goddess. Okay, also another special passive which give a boost to the special gauge aka ultimate skill or out for short. The only character right now in global we have is 3 star Lear. I don't have her, unfortunately. I really really want her. Would probably just pull just to get her but for now I don't have her. But I will show you uh, right there which one is it and what's the passive as well. And interestingly, I actually saw some characters, uh, I don't think I have them in my list, that have a mixed trait. So they are basically giving two types of boosts at the same time, but obviously some doesn't overlap. In the case, they give out two different elements, you know, you can only use on one of the characters, but you know, it's versatile, you can actually use on two different characters. So it doesn't feel like a waste to raise them. And the last passive I'm not really going to talk about is, you know, those that give resistance to status ailments. Okay, another thing that carries over are obviously the stats. Okay, as mentioned in the game itself, they actually give you uh, additional stats, especially if the face matches. So same characters will get additional 10% of whatever stats the sub-character has. So basically, the higher level and rarity the character has, the more stats it gives. Right? Makes sense, right? And one thing I don't believe that, you know, have benefit or whatsoever are the skill levels of the sub-characters. So for example, uh, you know, Chris is really good here, but all these, okay, even if they are max level, I don't think they carry over, like give any benefit or whatsoever. So some people ask, should I, you know, sell the reserve and things like that. I personally recommend that if you are just starting out, you know, I think you should either save them or skill them up in case one day you will never know if you use them because you don't know the potential of certain units. Okay, unless you know what you're doing, I highly don't recommend selling them because the medals are used only for skill pots tickets and four star tickets i know it's really tempting to try to get the four star tickets but i hope you make a decision that you don't regret later on in the game okay now back to the infographic okay, as you can see here there's a lot of things going on in this chart uh, but i'm gonna teach you 
like roughly how to use this so you can apply it in your team okay so like how to read them okay so basically there's a few criteria to consider when subbing your team okay is it the same face or characters what tier is it does it have like a good passive i mentioned earlier physical magical elemental you know so i already told you guys which units have those traits and in the case of healers does it have a heal up so the best case scenario okay i'm gonna go back to the game and then show you okay so like example ah. Uh, Okay, for example, best case scenario, I don't have it, but okay, best case scenario is something like this. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, Iris because I have the 4-star version and also the 3-star version of her. Sadly, I don't have the 2-star Iris that give the light plus up, so I use the 1-star one. Okay, this one. Oh, actually, even better, there's a 4-star Yunyun that actually be, would be perfect for this Iris, alright? So, for same character, we are mostly looking for more stats. Okay, so if she max awaken, uh, max promoted, you'll get a lot of stats relevant stats okay another one uh, to note is even though the infographic never mentioned if you have two choice choose the one with like relevant stats so for example a physical attacker you want more attack e attack okay physical attack and if it's a choice between magical physical always choose the one that is matching okay so when you equip them with high rarity same phase you know they basically have more stats so that they are stronger overall, everything will carry over. So you can hit harder, you can also survive longer. For rarity, it's actually both stats and more percentage gain. Okay, so like the higher rarity, they have like higher uh, percentage. So example like, okay, Melissa have like 7%. Whereas uh, maybe Whis, okay, uh, three star unit has like a maximum six. It actually says here when it, it awakens. But even though it's just like 1%, but you know, when you're trying to min max, it matters. So for example, Whis, uh, she's actually a magic attacker so uh, ideally you would have a physical one so like I mentioned ideally right but I'm actually here for this and then this one the P attack will carry over versus you see the one star one a P attack will be higher okay because it matches like the type of damage as well so this one will give you 5% this currently my main team and I'm actually working on another team now to actually clear the event and also arena so this is definitely a work in progress uh, the big, big mistake to actually level aqua instead of aim instead okay so I'm just gonna use this first for example then for passive it's mostly for more damage or in the case of healers more healing there's also status resist up so like I say, I'm not going to talk about video or maybe not even ever so earlier I talked about the extra passive which uh, belongs to 3 star layer Okay, which actually boosts the rates of special gauge, right? AKA out by 15%. Some characters just want their out to go off faster, or in the case, in the longer fights, you just want to use them more frequently. Okay, faster, more use more. Okay, a few examples, you know, so if I'm going to use Melissa, sometimes you might want her out to go first, right? Because it gives her a defense break before her teammate do anything, right? Before they burst their outs as well. This is especially true and especially helpful when running auto. Okay, this is a gacha game. Most of the time, I'm just running auto. I'm not gonna min max uh, manual most of the time, right? I just wanna let the game run by itself. Even if it does lesser, it's fine, you know? But if you have the time, you have the patience, you wanna min max, please go ahead as well. Okay, another one would be Megumin, okay? Megumin just have this role just to explode. Okay, if you just want her to do an explosion and then move on to the next character, you can put it on her. Okay, this is talking about three star Leo. And finally, maybe if you want to have more heals right i only have two star silo but if you have a four star silo great for you because he's the best healer in the game right now but for this event i would consider two star fire silo okay this two star fire silo to be the best unit uh for the event and arena okay currently okay, mainly for elemental weakness and strength so we're just gonna talk quickly okay she has like a great out so you might want to spam this for more heals and more physical attack and magical attack boost okay offensive boost overall she's a great unit not gonna talk too much into this but she has like two aoe heals you know just fire attacks but uh i would recommend uh subbing with heals passive so that you just want more heals right she's the main job is just to keep the team alive so especially like at harder stage you know ex1 ex2 if you cannot clear maybe try considering having uh, somebody like her another one uh so just a quick one i know the video is not about this but as a quick one uh, you can have her as like a sub healer as well Okay, since she only have like one heals, okay? Okay, so after explaining the different types of pairing, I'm going to use everyone's favorite, Melissa, as another example. Which characters are best to pair her with? Of course, it depends on who in the roster. Probably going to make another video just for Melissa, just to talk about her. But if for some reason you actually put on the summer banner, 
you know, you can get a summer copy as well. She's gonna pair her, but uh, she doesn't have the dark passive, right? So you can consider that. So like for Melissa, okay, so as I mentioned, if you want to have the out to go faster, out boost a uh, 3-star Leah would be one of the choice. Uh, otherwise, you can also consider just for stats, huh? Okay, just for stats, you might want to consider 3-star Melissa or the summer Melissa even better if you want just a pure stat boost. And then next up, you might want to pair her with the Avid Eater. Okay, in JP, they call it uh, Pizza Iris, okay? Because there's a pizza there. Uh, go read her story, she is, is, she's actually really cute. And uh, also, 3-star uh, Dust. Okay, 3-star Dust, you're going to pair with her. Because, uh, in my opinion, the physical attack one gives a bit more. Because this one is considered physical. It's nothing to do with the dark, okay? And even her out, even though it looks purple, but it says normal physical damage. So the physical attack will give Melissa more damage if it's a physical uh, attached to it. Okay. And then I don't have her. Probably gonna screen on, on, on there. Okay. Four star Arue. Uh, best bot. She actually gives a dark element. Okay. Right now I'm gonna go to the info chart to, you know, give you a calculation. Okay. So for example, right. What type? Does his super skill matches element with other skill? Actually, for Melissa's case, it's no. As I mentioned, her out is actually non-elemental, right? So if for some reason we have a character with same 4-star, a Melissa, 4-star, we have 40 points. And then if that Melissa gives a physical up, then she'll be 50 points. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Or if it's a Melissa with a dark attack up, it'll be a 45 points. Again, I don't think we have it in global yet. Next one is... The same 3 star Melissa with physical attack up. We also don't have it. So we're gonna move on down. Okay. So these are like the priority, right? The top points that you can give for Melissa. But if you have other characters that does this, then you can actually consider. So next one, we move down. Okay. If the same 3 star with elemental up, you know, you get 35 points. But in, in Melissa's case, the 3 star version is actually fire. So you don't have it. But if you pair the Summer Melissa with the 3 star fire one, then yes, you'll get a 35 points, all right? Other 4 star with this physical magic up plus 10, okay? We don't have in global as well. Ours is only 3 star, okay? So we move down. So same 4 star, no benefit passive. So in the case of Melissa, her best pairing right now is this one, okay? So if you use Treasure Hunter Melissa, you can pair her with the Swimsuit Melissa if you actually pull for her. I wouldn't say go all out, you know, just to pull her for this. And then the next one we can look at is other 4 star with elemental damage. Okay, so right now in global, there's actually only two 4 star units that have dark up, okay? Which is Melissa herself, okay, the dark Melissa, and also Arue best bot. Okay, she give a dark up. In that case, it'll be a 30 points. Okay, same 4-star, no benefit. Summer Melissa will be tied with other 4-star, 30 points. So 4-star Arue, they will be tied, okay? Then, obviously, we don't have so many 4-stars. Let's move down. The next best case scenario would be two, the same 2-star with Elemental Up. Again, there's actually no 2-star Melissa with Dark Up. If you don't have it, okay. okay. Actually, we don't have it. So the next one we can look at is other 3-stars with physical damage up. So the next best character we can pair her with is actually either the 3 star Iris, okay, this one, or this one, the 3 star Dust, okay, this one. So this is the next best one. So you continue until you work all the way down, right? This is as far as using the chart goes. Okay, finally, according to this chart, it's only left with the same two stars with no benefit. Okay, it's gonna be 10 points, right? And there's actually two Melissa with no benefit passive, okay? But if I'm basing on this chart, on this list, I would suggest something new, which I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just gonna add this just for fun, okay? Just based on my own understanding of this. So even if you do not have other 2-star Melissa, okay, I'm just gonna use 2-star, other 2-star, okay? There's no other 2-star here. I'm gonna give a minus 15 reduction, so it's left with 5, okay? But if there's no be benefit passive, right, it's gonna reduce 10. But if there is, it will usually has like a plus 5. So there's actually a casual... 2 star dust. Okay, I'm gonna show you here. I actually have casual 2 star dust. Okay, right here. He actually has this. So I'm gonna add another 5 points to him because 2%, right? So other 2 star minus 15. So 5 points plus 5 points. I'm gonna give him a 10 points for this. Alright, so that's it. And then there's a sheer fire way to get a pairing, which is gonna be a 1 star Melissa. Okay, okay this 2 star one is not. Okay, it's poison. Okay, in my original team, I can equip her. Okay, a 1 star Melissa with dark passive actually also 10 points for being 
the same one star plus 10 points for elemental boost so total 20 points this one is if you don't have those things to pair with okay i recommend using the one star melissa okay 20 points easy and finally i actually made this spreadsheet a while ago when i started play testing on the soft launch server because it was kind of frustrating looking through flipping one by one to see what passive my character has so i wanted to link this yesterday but of course my brilliant memory just happened to forget important stuff like this all the time okay trust me anyway for this sheet just uh create a copy or something and then use a filter in case you don't know how to use filter let me just do a quick one for you okay so for passive you can just clear all so for dark just click on dark Done, okay you can also do this for other things like the rarity the name etc but i believe just passive is fine okay i should have added like the elements of each characters but i kind of forgotten about that i'll probably just update it tomorrow or something whenever i have time been extremely tired recently i just couldn't do anything so i hope i can do that sooner so you guys can use that information as well but in the meantime just use the passive one i think it's uh, pretty good okay so that's all for today's video is again uh, kind of long i think i uh, hope this gives you a better understanding on how to sub your characters now uh, okay if you do not you know can just drop by the discord and ask around hopefully somebody will answer you otherwise maybe uh, I, if, whenever i see it i will try if i miss anything feel free to let me know in the comments below a quick one for equipment i personally feel like most of us should focus on maxing our team right now especially all to 60 including your sub okay, before even thinking about gearing since the stats and passive from subs actually give a lot more value than the gears itself currently but of course i will still make a video on that sometime later on like i believe it's worth using the gold ones and above you know there's only like two the three star and four star one gold ones and uh, the rainbow ones i believe you can start using the gold ones because i feel like the ball the four star one would be a bit uh will take a while right before we can really start to farm them and uh, as you guys know i actually bought the assassin dagger let me just show you quickly okay, right here i actually bought an assassin dagger a couple of videos back i think and then i tried farming for the materials but i'll rather use this stamina because it takes really long a lot of resource it takes like a 60 dragon claw or something like that and then i don't believe like every run drops that dragon claw okay on top of that you need the iron ore as well uh, by the way if you're farming for that just a quick tip uh, the best stage is actually 4-19 uh it gives both material drop i actually did another like spreadsheet for that but uh, it's not that important i don't think it's worth upgrading the one and two wall star ones which i did uh, as you can see here this is a big mistake that i made which is like the bronze and silver one don't don't i don't think it's uh, worth investing in those but it's fine to craft the materials are just sitting there but the upgrade materials are the things that are precious so you can craft them but and then equip them just i don't know don't really go and all out and upgrade all the way uh, it's going to be quite costly maybe level one or two it's fine but i think you should just leave it until the gold ones okay which is the three star equipment i think those are worth investing in I mean you have like five characters total so i don't think you'll be able to get all rainbows that soon right to be honest okay so <laughs> word of advice don't waste the materials like i did i just want to find out for the sake of it okay guys i usually don't do things like that but you know i just want to know like how expensive they are and then i was just like just playing and it's just okay just you know just do it but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching subscribe if you have not already drop a like and i'll see you guys in the next video